Come on, Forrest, come on. I believe you can do it, come on. Hey, did you know tomorrow's Christmas? Whoa, what? You're telling me that I've been so focused on this neural network project that I didn't even know that my favorite holidays of all holidays is tomorrow? Christmas. No it's way. Christmas time. Did you oh, know it's Christmas. Time? Now you know Wait a second. It never snows in San Diego. You're not fooling me. Back to reality. Tomorrow's Christmas, which is the most divine holiday of all the holidays. I have to put up a video for it. I have to. But I have less than 24 hours to not only write some sort of festive software, but also film and edit an entire video. Not to mention, this is on top of the other responsibilities that I should be doing. Is this really what I should be focusing on right now? Well, seeing as that is the exact definition for irresponsible and your boy is probably the most irresponsible person I know, let's do this. Okay, so first things first, I need to think of some festive software. It needs to be quick, simple, and to the point. But what? What can I do? Huh, let's see. Candy? No. Xbox Connect? No. Scooter? No. Christmas tree? Huh. Paper? Huh. Let's make a Christmas origami ornament generator. Yeah! Okay, so where do I start? First things first, I need to figure out what type of origami I want to generate. So, headed to the internet. Let's see, Santa origami. Uh, that's a good idea, but this might be a little too complex. Let's think more simpler. Christmas origami. Uh, ooh, this Christmas tree seems easy enough. Let's do this one. Okay, now that I'm sure that I wanna make this Christmas tree, I need to first see if I can actually make it using paper. So, let's give this a try. Did you know it's Christmas time? Now you know it's Christmas time. Boom, not too hard. Cool, all right, sweet, what's next? In the interest of time, I'm just gonna give you a step-by-step -step for the process. Now that I know how to make the actual physical origami, I can use this paper as a reference. Looking at it, there are three quarters, each with three folds, and the little flappy things fold inside. So I then went into my 3D modeling software and replicated this paper. After I replicated it, I then made a UV map only of a quarter of the paper, which means we're only gonna draw a pattern on a quarter of the paper, and the other three quarters will be a repeat pattern of that corner that we painted on. Once my UV map was completed, I then made the finished origami shape within the 3D modeling software, and then I moved on to the actual software. The software is pretty straightforward. I just made a canvas that allows you to draw on a quarter of the paper, and again, that one quarter is then repeated to all four of the quarters. I did this by building some sort of Photoshop stroke feature, which allowed me to draw on the canvas, and that art showed directly into our 3D model origami preview in real time, which I think is super cool. At any point, we can zoom in and check out our origami preview, and once we're done drawing our art, we can hit save and print, and it will give us an image that we can print out, cut, and then fold into our origami ornament. And that's pretty much it. But this episode is not quite over yet. We have to actually demonstrate the software. So give me just a second to draw the art of my choice. I'm so happy it's Christmas time. I'm so happy it's Christmas time. Christmas is Christmas time. Look at your watch, it's Christmas time. Did you know it's Christmas time? Look at your watch, it's Christmas time. Christmas is Christmas time. Christmas time, yeah, it's Christmas time. All right, what do you guys think about my art? It was inspired by uniting all the peoples of all different colors and creeds all around the world for the most divine holiday of them all. I'm talking about Christmas, of course. Just hit save and print, and now off to actually print this bad boy. Christmas is Christmas time. Happiest day, it's Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Christmas presents, Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas. Now back in the office, safe and sound, got our paper. Now let's fold it. Yeah, you know it's Christmas time. Christmas, it's Christmas time. Jump for joy, it's Christmas time. Did you know it's Christmas time? You look at your watch, it's Christmas time. Christmas, it's Christmas time. And voila, we have successfully wrote a Christmas origami ornament generator. You can now use household items like a paper clip, poke a hole through it, and hang it up on your tree. And congrats, you just made the cheapest yet most unique ornament on whatever tree that you put it on. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. And I know, I know, I'm a little late with this software, but Christmas just kinda came out of nowhere. Better late than never, right? I hope that you can find some use in this software and making little Christmas ornaments with your friends and family, maybe. And to all you eager programmers, I also released this as open source, but full warning. I wrote it in less than 24 hours. It is not optimized. The code is really sloppy and it's uncommented. 
So if you're daring enough, have at it. I just want to say happy holidays to you all. We'll return back to the Neural Network stuff next week. Follow me on Twitter. I love the Twitters. And I'm going to go get some sleep now because it's like 5 in the morning finishing this project. Peace. <laughs> you know it's Christmas time. Uh, Look at your watches. Christmas time. Christmas is Christmas time. Happiest day. It's Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Christmas presents. Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Did you know it's Christmas? Mm.